Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be doing my end of month pulls for December 2020 obviously the last pulls of 2020 effectively the accumulated tokens that I got in 2020 we're going to start off with the elite character tokens first there are actually some S class 5 star ascendables in here strangely enough there is the shame i believe and i think there might be gled in here randomly as the the gold bricks character but as a five star ascendable it's really strange got a very low chance of getting a five star ascendable from this so i don't envisage actually seeing anything Get a bunch of fours and fives let me just see i think it's really low two percent yeah good luck good luck on that one good luck on that one let's see what else we can get as we'll roll these out get anything it'd be funny if we did get one of those s class five star ascendables we've got some five stars so far though it's not too bad it's nothing usable for me nothing i haven't got before hey there's a larry we actually got we actually got lily then larry in a row shout out to my telltale fans out there you know what that means you know what that means that's uh daughter and father there oh that's it Okay, didn't have that many LA character tokens apparently. I'm gonna do a 10 here, just a 10. I'm gonna watch all 10, we don't normally watch the 10. But I'm mainly going to be actually saving my weapon tokens now. Just because, ooh, that's actually pretty good. We got two in a row that were actually really good. I didn't know that weapon was in there. I have got that weapon before. Not from a pull, I got it from... Oh damn, if anyone could... I think it was from one of the Golden Kandama crate events where you could get it from the crate. Ooh. Ooh. 20% AP to self. Fast weapon. Can be pretty useful. But we also get a Dante's Blade, which is a HP percentage strong weapon, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna just tuck into the main tokens now, and as you can see... I'm getting a pretty healthy stock of four-star weapon tokens. And again, I'm going to just hold on to these. And I'm not going to pull. I'm not going to pull four-star weapon or four-star weapon. Sorry, I'm not going to pull those. But I'm not also not going to pull four-star recruit tokens. You can also see I've got quite a lot of these candy cane tokens on the left-hand side. And this is because I did buy the mistletoe. And I think it was pointed out to me by Noah on live stream. It only costs £3.80 to buy the mistletoe. And you could run through the whole roadmap. And all of the resources there for £3.80 was pretty good. I think you got like... 40k armory tokens, loads of gear. I was like, and those are trainers. I was just like, mm, okay. You had to lose a lot of world energy, but I've got a reasonable amount of world energy at the moment, so it's not too much of a problem. Now, I'm not going to pull the candy cane tokens here. I'm going to pull them in a separate video. But can we get something actually decent in the prestige recruits? Can we get something actually decent in the prestige recruits? There are a couple of good characters in here. We've got. Um, Tanya Trader. I think I need a Frost. Some of these characters are pretty legit, to be honest. But I think I've got most of these. But it would be like a second five-star ascendable, I guess. Towards an S-Class. We'll see what we can get. I did see a Diego there. Not the, not the Diego you're thinking of. Really? Really? You get same same Carl twice in a row. Cowboy Carl. Amigo Carl. That's it. Look at him. I like it. I like it. Didn't get anything. Zilch. Nada. Zero. But we have got 13 pulls on this wheel. And here... I mean, I wouldn't mind it to go for a second Rick. I'd really want Negan. I haven't got really any progress towards Negan. So it would just be like, that would actually be progress. I believe he's on this wheel. Um, second Pete? I mean, maybe a five-star Pete would be cool. Um, I take Michonne's because I'm not claiming her from the battle pass. I, th I swear there was a Negan on here. Wasn't there an... Yeah, I mean, it's the pictures on the left. Where's he gone? He... Did he... He wasn't there at the beginning, was he? Is he just deeper in? I'm not sure what's going on there. I can't see him. Hmm. Hmm, let me see. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what's going on. I guess we're going to put on Alpha. Do a 10 on Alpha. 
That's really strange. Let's see if we can get an ascendable. The ascendable rates are increased. It's like, I think it's 20% or something. 15%. But we aren't, we aren't getting anything just yet. 15, 20%. We're getting a lot of fives, a lot of fives. There's Michonne, larger welt, old school Rick, Carlson, Halloween character wants to put the time, another Carlson. Pooey, Pooey. Let me see, I think it's 15%, yeah. Oh, okay, Negan was the first character. I guess it, it defaulted to Rosita when I switched to the wheel. Let's see if it does that again, let me just see. If I go in here, go to Prestige, and then go to the right, uh, I don't know what happened. I just must have missed him. I just must have missed him. I'm going to pull on Priya. But that's the guy I want. I want Negan. Give me the Negan. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, no Ascendables at all. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So... That's going to be the end of that, guys. I wonder if there's any pity pulls in this, you know? A lot of games have it where if you don't get an ascendable for, like, 20, 30 pulls, they're like, oh, okay, we just give this guy an ascendable. I don't think it's that bit, been that many. I think last month I did get Alice. Can't really remember. But, um, yeah. We're going to switch to my other region, though. I have got um, quite a few pulls there, and we're going to see what we can get. Okay, so we're back once again on the edit character wheel. Gonna start with the tens. Ooh, maybe I didn't wait long enough. I, I did a couple of things. I did a couple of things. Generally have to do something. Hopefully it doesn't refresh my game good. That's nice. Wilkins, old, old school character. It's five star Wilkins. Hey Maggie, one of my favorite characters actually. Just cause she was really, really rare at one point. Extremely rare. I've got a bunch of her now though. She, she was extremely rare. Sawyer. Pretty cool character. Tyrese. Took me ages to get Tyrese. But yeah, this character was legit. Look how maxed out. She looks weird. Hemorrhage as well. I mean, she, I don't think she was that great. She was great for Faction Assault, but she was just really rare. I don't even remember. I don't think she was even a promo. What is going on? I didn't have barely any elite character. I guess we didn't... I mean, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, wait. Do we, do, do we get elite character token from War anymore? I'm not actually sure. Give me a Jesus. I think I got Shield Jesus on one of my regions from the Supply Depot randomly. Randomly, 2% chance. This 2% is pretty grim. <laughs> really grim. Hey, we get a couple of fives though. Hey, Kirkman series, Zeke. Quite a few fives. Rosita decent, Eugene was decent, Zeke was decent. I always I was tell the story of, of Zeke. Basically, the strong version of Five Star Kate. Wanted him really bad in the Six Star era. Well, I'm gonna save these eight tokens because you know, you know. Apparently, I'm just not getting many of these tokens. I don't know what's going on. Same dealio with the four star weapons. Same dealio with the four star recruits. We're gonna go across to Prestige. We've only got one pull. I've only got one pull. I'm gonna pull on Tanya. I'm gonna pull on Tanya. Hey, I don't have Axel in this region. That is really good. That's 2k cards. Legit, I don't have Axel in this region. That is awesome. Progress. That is a that is a really good pull. That is a really, really good pull. And I'm actually he's one of the characters who I'd wanted to work towards. So that's great. I'm really happy with that one, actually. I'm really happy. Hey, Axel. S-Class 5-Star Ascendable. I think that's the first one I've got since the refresh. We'll check my roster. I'm pretty sure I haven't had much progress towards Axel. We're going to do a 10. And we're going to do it on... We're going to do it on Nor. axel Nor combo. Works great. I think I've... I'm good with Nor on this region, but Axel Nor combo is obviously great. Now here we get Zhe Feng, pretty cool. And sendable. I've got a couple of her already though. She was in a battle pass. I think she was in two battle passes. And she was in League Store, so yeah, I think most people got Zhe Feng. 
but it's not bad to have a bit of depth. Lance is new in this region, but another character that isn't too useful for me personally, but we are getting some ascendables, which is a bit better luck than what we had in the other region. Two ascendables, but he is new. I don't think he does anything, like for, for collections or anything like that. We get a Lance. I did actually pull this guy as a promo once on my, on my other region. And he was reasonable. His leader skill was interesting because of the main resistance. When it was transitioning from, you know, six star era to S class era, people were still using Zachary's and the main resistance worked pretty well um, for a little while, maybe like a month. And then people just stopped using Zachary because he just, he fell off pretty heavy. Uh, who are we gonna put on? We pulled on, did we put on Noor before? We're gonna pull on Ralito. Ra, 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 we get another Pete, another Telltale character. Hey, we got another sendable, Cameron Scar. Cameron Scar. Who thinks Cameron Scar should get an S class character, guys? I know a lot of people liked Cameron Scar. Be pretty cool. Cameron Scar, an S class character. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments down below. But that is it. That is going to be the end of my pulls. What are you guys doing? Are you guys saving your pulls for you know four star weapons, hoping for a refresh? I damn well am. I damn well am. Let's have a little check of the axle progress. I'm pretty sure I have not got any progress on this region. Let me just have a quick check. Axle. No. Happy days. Happy days. 2,000 cards. I don't think I've even got that many cards of him, to be honest. I Obviously, he was this week's character, but um, I don't think I've got that much. Let me have a little look. I have actually got quite a lot. I know, a bit more. I'm kind of lucky, because I'm sort of in the position where I'd start to claim his five star. That's six, so I only need two and a half K more cards. That's actually really awesome. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in the next war crates. Um, so I might I might be able to pick him up pretty quickly. Oh man. It goes from not getting much luck at all to then getting quite a lot with that pull. So I'm, uh, like I say, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy indeed. Hopefully you got some decent pulls from your five star tokens, prestige tokens, elite character tokens this month. Do let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see if they did do a refresh of the weapon wells. Would you like to see armory tokens in there? Brand new weapons, maybe a five star weapon chance or something like that. I don't know. It does say four star weapon tokens, so I don't think that's going to be the case. Maybe a five star weapon wheel. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. That's going to be the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.